So as you saw, I have quite the collection of key sunglasses. I would have a lot more to show you guys, but I'm not the best at taking care of sunglasses. So majority of my old sunglasses got ruined. I just bought all of these when they had a little sale and I actually got the silver on silver high keys for free. Before we get into it, I wanted to give you guys a big tip about how to wear these sunglasses. A lot of these are oversized, so it's important to let your eyebrows show because if you don't, it kind of looks a little weird. The first time I was trying them all on, I was just like, none of these look right on me. I was just getting really sad. But then my friend told me that you have to like kind of squiggle them down on your nose a little bit. So when you wear them, at least for pictures, you can put it like this and you can see your eyebrows and it doesn't look super weird compared to this looks a little bit odd. I mean, it doesn't look super weird, but you can definitely tell it's oversized. And also for anyone who is wondering, it is pronounced key and not quay. It's even in their Instagram bio, so don't come for me. <laughs> so first we're gonna start with the Silver on Silvers from Desi Perkins Key Collection. So these are a pair of oversized aviators. I love aviators. I think they're such a classic style that pretty much anyone can pull off. And honestly, I would not have gotten the silvers if it wasn't free. I definitely would have picked like the black silver or the rose gold one. I used to actually have both of them and they unfortunately both got really scratched up, but I'm definitely not complaining about some free sunglasses. So I'm gonna keep it going by showing you guys all my aviators first. This one is called Needing Fame. So it has like gold hardware, but it has this like black matte frame, which is really cool. And it just kind of gives like a different vibe than my other sunglasses. If you guys ever look at like a blogger's Insta feed, you can tell what their favorite sunglasses are. I started following this one girl, I think her name is Holly, and she wears these sunglasses in every single picture and she like rocks them. So I definitely had some inspiration from her to buy these sunnies. So the next ones are my tried and true Vivians. This is another oversized aviator. I forgot to mention the difference between a Vivian and the high keys is that these are like curved. I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's curved and the high keys are flat frames, but I definitely wanted to get an all black aviator so I could rock it with any outfit. So the next ones are from Desi's line as well. And these just make you feel so cool. You just feel like a boss ass bitch when you put them on. And I honestly feel intimidated, like even wearing these, like I don't even know what I would wear with these sunglasses, but I think these are really cool because it has that black frame up here, but then it fades into like a cheetah tortoise print. So I think it's very different. This one isn't matte, it does have a gloss finish as well. In the last of my collections, I'm going to show you guys my hippie sunglasses. The first pair are these all black ones. And like I said before, it's just nice to have all black just in case you need to run out the door really fast and don't really have that much time to just match your outfit to your sunglasses and stuff like that. This style reminds me a lot of the Ray-Ban style that's super popular nowadays. So hopefully I'll be getting a lot of use out of these. And the last pair of my key collection are these ones. These are the epitome of hippie sunglasses. I'm honestly not even sure what I'm gonna wear these with yet, but again, these remind me of those Ray-Bans that are really popular right now too. I just wanted to leave you guys with one more thing. I don't want you guys to think that you guys can't pull these sunglasses off because I thought that and honestly, you just have to rock it with confidence. If you're trying out any new styles, whether it's sunglasses, a super big fur coat, maybe some high knee booties that you're, you know, self-conscious to wear, just fake it till you make it is what I always say. Maybe when you just leave the house, you might be feeling a little insecure when you do try on a new style and I totally recommend just stand up straight and just tell yourself, you got this, you're gonna rock it. So that's it on my key sunglasses collection. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.